up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Harvest Vlog episode 2. Today we are teaching a streamer on Twitch how to drive tractor. He wants to get into the job as such. So now he's pretty new to it, he's pretty fresh to it, but it should be good fun. Today's tractor is Fast Track 4220. Um, probably a bit of a difficult tractor to learn things in, but we're going to show him round, show him the spec, show him hoses, PTO attachments, show him how to hitch up a trailer, we're going to do a bit of reversing, backing up a trailer, everything like that. So it no, should be pretty interesting. Let's get him in. Right, here he is then. This is Russ. How do? He is known as Jobber. Jobber 84. 84 Jobber Twitch. underscore 84. Under, just, underscore 84. I'll drop that down in the bottom bit there. Um, so, Russ, why the sudden interest in farming? Uh, so in all fairness, probably due to, as you know, Farm Sim 19. Um, I've been playing... It is a good game. On PC, I've been doing it for like a year now. I was on Xbox for a year, done um, since 17, and for some reason 19 took me in and made me want to maybe pursue it a bit further. You've caught the bug mm. without actually catching like the real life bug yet. Yeah, I mean I've always been into machinery and stuff like that, but obviously until you get involved in it, it's a bit harder to, to gauge where you're going to be. But Yeah, 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 yeah. Seeing stuff like this, you, you're going to want to play it all day long, aren't you? When, big boys, like, big toys. When you see it in real life, this is something about seeing a tractor, isn't there? Yeah, it, 100%. as a little kid, you're like, yeah, tractors, tractors, but now, obviously, it, you will never go here. Like now, you're next to it. It's it's a different world, isn't it? Yeah, you, you so, don't know until you get right next to one. Like you see them rolling around the roads, and you're like, oh look at that. But now you stand next to one, and you're like, well, actually, that's a lot, a lot more to take in than you'd expect. So no, I'm, I'm yeah. well, I'm keen to show you around and cool. get you into it, really. So, um, well, we'll start off. We'll just um, have a little walk around it. Yeah. Show you the basics. And we'll go from there. Right, so I've handed my camera over to a lovely assistant, also from the channel. He is. Azza, Azza, it's Azza. Link won't be in the description because we don't like it. <laughs> so then we'll um, start with the, the, the simple things first. Obviously, you know, hitch, yep. trailer hitch, top link. So when you've got implements that need to go on the hitch, you can adjust like your level for whatever you're doing. Plow, yep. for instance, subsoiler, you get the pitch and all that sort of thing. Yep. If it has wings or if it has something on it that needs hydraulics, you've got your different remotes or spools or valves there. And yep. obviously, you have a top and a bottom, an in and out essentially, but you can put them in any way you want. Okay. It just dictates which way you plus or minus oh, right, on okay, the spool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say, for instance, you have a plow, plow goes on the hitch, adjust everything as you need, plug it in, and you'll have your spin and everything else that's on the plow. Um, Arrows or something, or a cultivator with wings, it'll be on again and it'll unfold and fold up. And sometimes right. you'll have depth control, so you could how much you're in the ground and out the ground. And all, all those settings will be well, once you're on a farm, essentially, you can then the farmer or even the people that sell you the implement will go through settings. Oh, God, it's manual. There's literally there's a book, just read the book kind of thing. A lot of yeah. tractor drivers are like getting it, oh, I don't know how it works, but if you read the user manual. <laughs> Everything is in a user manual, funny enough. Instructions are not really a thing men are useful. Air brakes is pretty common in yeah. tractors nowadays. Obviously, male and female, can't get it wrong. I won't go into too much detail. Plug them both in, you can use brakes on trailer air brakes. Come on. So, if you have an implement on the back that's like power beyond, you'll plug a pressure pipe in, a return pipe, and then what they call a load sensing. So, then that implement becomes a part of the tractor and you can normally then control it from a box. You don't have to worry about touching any spools on the box or on the implement. Some even can run through the, the tractor's own screen using isobus, so the, and then when it needs oil, the, the load sense goes, oh, we need some more oil here, and so it'll chuck the oil in. So it's all like self-controlled. Automated. It's automated, yeah, yeah, that's a bit, good way for it. Um, PTO shaft, Yep. that's on a thousand spline at the minute, so you have right. a thousand and five forty. 540 is a more hexagon shape, right, and 1000 yeah. is multi spline. Uh, the implement you're using will go 1000 or 540 on it, and then the same in the tractor, you click 1000 or 540. Does that do automated control for the RPMs and stuff, or is that something you have to no, set? No, something you have to set. Oh, so right. when you're hitching on a PTO, 1000 speed, you're getting the tractor, and there'll be, we'll jump in there in a minute, yep. it shows you um, we've got settings for. Right, a thousand speed. So you'll click, you'll set it to a thousand, click a thousand. Some of them you can do on the throttle, old school tractors, but these yep. new ones, you can set your speed to a thousand. And the tractor will try and keep that at a thousand as much as it can. If you come to a hill and it's a bit heavy or something, then you have to back off the speed a bit to try and keep those revs. Yep. 
I mean, it's, there's a lot to think about, but once you've been in it a day, like when I, when I first drove a Baylor, absolutely <laughs> myself kind of thing. <laughs> but once you've been on it a week, get Netflix oh. out, you're oh. laughing. <laughs> what else has this got on the back? Uh, light socket. Yep. This is your ABS socket, so right. that trailer over there will have ABS on it, and the Stuart trailer in there will have ABS on it. Older trailers, hydraulic brakes. So that's your hydraulic brake coupling, just one coupling, straight in, hit the brakes, oil goes in, and then it just returns back. Cool. Now when you're hitching something up, it's quite safe to do stuff from here, so you want to go down a bit, you can push it down and adjust it, and you can put your implement on, and then you can adjust it from a safe distance without having to run in and out the cab. Yeah, yeah. You can also spin the PTO a little bit. That's quite handy for, if you've got a tanker on it, you hold that down, you can do tanker work without having to jump in and out. And then you do have hydraulic controls, which is on the black, I believe. So that will control that, so you can move stuff up and down out, out of harm's way, or if you need to be out the tractor to move stuff. So you've got some good control outside, that's fine. And that is the gist of the rear end. No. On a fast track. They're very similar, every, every tractor is very similar sort of back end hitch. Yeah, I've seen it on a couple of the others that have got that as well on the back. It's all, all very similar. Cool. Nice. We'll um, jump inside now. Yep. Right then, the basics of a fast track, very similar to modern tractors, John Deere, your fence, all that sort of thing. So, you get in it, steering wheel has adjustment on it, so you can move all of it with this and this and get yep. your comfortable area, your, your seat's adjustable, all that sort of lovely things to get yourself in. Basic information, dash, like a car really, or like like a van, like a car. Fast tracks have got four wheel steer, which is on a button over here. Yep. So you can set that to that. That's like a user setting, I won't go into that too much detail, just teach you the basics of a yeah, yeah. fast track. Fun. So this is the, the fun part of the, the fast track, the, the main area you're going to be using a lot so we explain the spool valves yep. green blue so whatever way you have it plumbed in will dictate which way you want to move an implement as such and on the hitch you got drop rates and sort of settings height settings max all that sort of thing for on the back that you got a plow if you start to get into some heavy ground you want to lift it lifts up a little bit so you can carry on so your forward speed always keeps going keeps to your momentum keep stuck with something. so that's a lot of draft control hitch control spools more hitch controls here like rocker switches for up and down it's all very once you see the pictures you you um will get you in in a minute and you can just literally batter back and forward and have a play yep fast track to go forwards and backwards you've got to click that button and go backwards and forwards right it has different gearbox settings it has like a um almost like a power shift mode and like a, a manual mode but usually for what you'll be doing you just leave it in sort of auto forward go and that goes straight up to 50k <laughs> sort of i've used the well and, and more 60k yeah, yeah. Know, fast track um screen come on <laughs> So that, and um, we're on the transmission screen down here, so um, this is another important one. So your spools for the back will have individual settings for how much oil you want to give out and take away. You can also put it on timers, so if you've got a, a pl I keep using plow, a plow is a nice easy one. You want to lift a plow up, and let's say for instance you count it, it takes five seconds for the plow to lift out the ground. You can say five seconds, click that once, and it will lift up for five seconds and stop. So you don't have to hold it. Oh, right, something okay, else. Yeah, you can yeah. flick that once and then do what you need to do and that'll sort itself out so that's like sort of spool controls flow rates they call it pressures all that sort of thing it's a preset revs 1000 rpm or 540 you can change any of them flick a button and it will stay at the revs you want it to stay at some tractors want the clutch to start some want the brakes yeah so yeah you can preset certain functions to the, the joystick uh, throttle control over here but you have to this has caught a few people out on fast tracks you have to have it in manual mode for the uh, revs to work over in this corner here we put a handbrake on neutral you've got your PTO switch 
So that's to turn off, turn on and off your PTI. Yeah. And then that, as I explained there, you've got your 540 and 1000 settings. Yeah, yeah. And then both eco for both of them on this one. Uh, diff lock, four wheel drive. You can have auto four wheel drive, so when it detects slip, it will kick in. Very important button is that one. Oh, where your thumb was. Yeah, it's going up. Be good. Grab your beacons. Uh, work lights, road lights. What if they worked? They're probably not working, are they? Mm. Good old fast track. Uh, that is probably the gist of it. The gist of it, I think. Happy days. <laughs> When you're doing the trailer hitch, you have to lift the arms all the way to the top and it'll make a noise of like, hydraulics will make a, a, a note change when it's fully up, it'll right. go, oh, do, it'll be a note yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the fast track, there's a lever behind the seat which just unhooks some clips, the such or something, right. and then that way you can then drop the hitch. Oh wow. No, it's the weight difference on the back end then. There's about 10 tonne of wheat in that. Oh really? And you'll hear, when I go up now, it'll make all the sort of clonking noises and it all settles in. So listen out for that. Well, that is latched. Right. And this is a very important lesson. With hitching a trailer, always, always drop the hitch back down because otherwise all the weight is on the bars that do your pickup hitch. Right. When you drop it back down, you'll see it sort of settle and then stop. And that means that the trailer is now attached properly to the tractor and all the weight is where it should be and it's all attached to the clips, the pins, everything is all hunky dory. Now that we're hitched, handbrake, neutral. Yep. Good practice is to switch off, but it'd be easier for our video to, to listen. And we'll go and have a look about plumbing in. We probably won't right. plumb in, we'll just show you what to plumb in. <coughs> so we've hitched on. Yep. We're all locked in, everything's where it needs to be on that. You drop the hitch down so all the weights where it needs to be on the hitch and the hook. And then that's when you know these are loose. When these are tight, it means all the weight of the trailer is on them and they stretch and then that's what is a big no-no. Right. So you can always remember to drop your trailer down. You're laughing, you'll be the farmer's favourite driver. So trailer, grain trailer, will usually have a tailgate ram and then the main lift ram. The fatter one is usually the main lift and the thinner one is usually for tailgate. Tailgate usually have two and then the main lift will have one because it only needs one to lift and then it'll just chuck it back under its own weight when it right. drops down. Yep. Trailer socket for your lights and this is an old trailer so it has hydraulic brakes. Another thing to be aware of is link arm height, like when you drop your arms down, don't go too far down because then these will come into contact with that and also sometimes your link arms can get tangled with the wires. A lot of people if they're on a trailer all the time will take these off or there's a few clips you can undo and you can lift them right up, lock them out here and wind your arms all the way up so they're just right out of the way. But that is the gist of hitching a trailer. So what we'll do is just drive straight out the building a lot bigger than my car. Yeah. We'll do a um, we'll do a reverse towards that gravel on your left. See, as long as you pay attention to your mirrors. So it's essentially like a big fork, like in, in the grass that you're driving. Yeah, really. It's got your four wheel steer. You, you won't be in four wheel steer down the road, but aim aim a little bit towards the road. Back to the trailer, I'm no, no, you're all good. It's good that you're aware, which is good. The opposite to what you're thinking. Yeah, that's oh, it. Start to steer the other way, aiming for the other shed entrance there, just to give you a bit of a wiggle, just to confuse you. Right now, I want you to reverse into the shed. Oh, lovely. So, I would say the straighter you are, yep. so if you do all your, in your head, all your reversing by driving forward, so you get yourself all set up, all for reversing. Right, okay. So, so flick, flick the high low button for me, the one? orange one. That one? Next to it, that's neutral. That's, that's it. Yeah, boy. Has it gone to low? Yeah, right. Yep. So now it should be a bit nicer to control the reverse. So, so if you sort of aim towards the building, nice and steady, a bit more right hand lock, and then now start kicking her left, and then aim towards the road again. 
corner, straighten up a little bit, that's it. That's it. A bit more left, a bit more left. And then keep keep it like that, keep it like that. And then now start steering round. Go on, keep going towards the field. Whee! That's it. <laughs> so now you've you've started your reverse from a nicer angle. Right. And then now the trick with reversing into a shed. If you, if you hug one side, you know the other side is as close as it needs to be. You know the trailer will fit in that shed because you just come out All right, of it. Yeah. So okay. if you keep an eye on the right hand side and aim for like a half a metre gap to the wall, you know you're going to be good. But slow is, slow is steady, nice and steady. And a little bit that way, nice and steady. That's it, that's a nice angle. Keep it like that. And as soon, as soon as you get in, you'll see that it's um, the darker change. That's what they do, really, because it's really hard to see. Yeah. That is the gist of some old farms, so that's the annoying thing. So just be aware of the front when you're looking around and stuff. Always looking around you. And you should see the other trailer there. But if you've done as you are now, nice and straighten up your wheels. Nice and steady. Just very small amounts of lock, and that'll take you away from the shed wall. That's it, very nice and small. And you're starting to float away now from the wall. Yeah. And then you can start your turn to park up next to uh, a set of rolls. Start your turn there. Steady. Well, now you're dead straight now, you look pretty good. As you are, come back. Wheels nice and straight. Inch her slowly, inch her slowly. Probably start kicking it that way a little bit. Very slow. Is it the front that way? Yeah, front end that way, that's it. And I would say a little bit more as it's going to keep an eye on you. So now what we're going to do, we're going to unhitch the trailer now. So oh. arms all the way fully up. So that button, what, that bottom, one? and that's like your manual override of the arms. You, that will, whatever settings you have, those buttons will always override and you can go full up and full down. Right, so what's this one going to do? So, so that's going to lift your linkage all the way to the top. Is that where we want it? Yep. There's a so little that. lever behind the seat. This one? Yep, if yep. you lift that, and now push the lower arm button. So you've unhitched. That one there. Yep, you've got to hold, hold it up while you do it. No, follow them. That's it, and then drop the arms down, and that should now drop the trailer down. And just literally drop this all the way down. When it hits the floor, it'll stop, but then stick, keep still going, and it'll unhitch from the tractor. We're good. And right, now very, very nice and slowly, forwards handbrake, and very inch away, because sometimes it might, you might hit a bump and it'll clip. They go up a lot quicker than they go down. Yeah, once the oil's warm, they work a bit better as well. And then straight the way back down a little bit, just to take the weight off of it. That's it then, I'm ready, let's go. We're we doing first, first aren't we? So Russ, how did you find, well, JCB Fast Track, but an introduction to attaching tractors, driving it? Different, very different. Um, not like my normal van driving skills. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a bug I, I think I can sink the teeth into. So yeah, cool. it's, it's a lot different. Was it? Overload of information, or was it not too bad? Like um, the balls, PTO hitch. Partially, it's probably going to be a bit of both. Like you pick it up as you go. A lot um, of it, you, like what I tell you today, a, a bit will stick with you. I mean, the dropping the, like it's imperative dropping that hitch down once you hitch onto a trailer. Yeah. If you can remember that, it's something oh, that I've encountered so many times having to repair those linkages. It's yeah. It's quite annoying. So if you can remember that, a farmer will love you. So. Good, in that case, sign me up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been great mate, love it. It's good fun. So then guys, I think that brings us to the end of this vlog, Harvest Vlog Episode 2. Pleasure having you on board Russ. Sort Thank you very much. I quite enjoy teaching people how to do things. I was going to get a little buzz out of it, a little kick out of it myself. Hopefully in the near future, he's, he's looking for a job in farming potentially. Yeah. So little days like this, I think it goes a long way. So if, like you said, you're going to take a a week off in summer, almost a like volunteer or a bit of work experience. Yeah. Farmers like that, it's encouraging. I mean, you pretty much jumped in that and reversed that trailer in. Quite, yeah. quite. I like that you was overly cautious, which is good. I think a farm for you would be good that's enclosed a little bit, an odd bit of road work, but some like a farm, like here for instance, all the mm. fields are around. So I, think, no, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Did, mate. Loved it. Thank and, you. Um, I wish you all the best for the future looking for a job. Thank you very much.
Should I go as Bye for now?